for this question, we are told that a current source is applied to two resistors, R1 and R2, and less voltage is going to appear across R1 than R2. So what does that mean for our R1s and R2s? Well, if we look at this, we are going to have resistor 1, and we have some resistor 2. But we want to find if less voltage is applied. So we're given voltage, right? This is what we're given. We will mark what we're given. We're given voltage. And then we are also given our current source. It's the same throughout, right? So the current applied is the same here as it is here. The only possible difference is our resistors. So we need to see which has like higher or lower resistance. And so that means that we are going to use the voltage or Ohm's law, the voltage formula, where we set our V equal to current times resistance. So if we write this for our R1, and we rewrite this for our R2, we are going to be able to see that if the, again, current is the same, current is the same here, and our less voltage appears across R1, which means this one right here, we have less voltage than our R2, that means that this resistance has to be less. Because if this has a greater resistance, well, our current, which is the same, times a higher resistance is going to yield a higher voltage. And if we have a lower resistor times the same current, it's going to yield a lower voltage. So that means R1 has to have a lower resistor resistance than our R2.